Hello and welcome to Stop Frost Maths Key Skill video on knowing the place value of digits in whole numbers. Now what do I mean by place value? Well when you have a number it consists of a number of digits. So a number of single symbols. So this we say is a five digit number because it has five symbols on it. Now as we go from right to left what well, each of these things is worth becomes more and more. So on the very right, this is known as the units digit. And what that means is that each one of these is worth one thing. A unit just means one. So if we've got eight here, then we could actually draw it as eight things. We've got eight things here. So that's worth eight units, eight ones. Now the next digit to the left that's known as the tens digit. And that basically means that each one of these is worth 10. So if I was to draw that, I've got to draw four tens. So here's one lot of 10. Here's a second lot of 10. Here's a third lot of 10. And finally, because we've got four tens, here's a fourth lot of 10. Now the next digit to the left, if that's the units digit, then the tens digit. The next is the hundreds digit. And that means that each one of these is worth a hundred. Now I won't have enough space to show it, but basically we would have to draw 500 things here. The next digit to the left, that's then the thousands digit. And then we'd kind of run out of words. We'd say that's the 10,000s digit, then the 100,000s digit, and then the millions digit. So let's just actually write this in. Let's say we had a few extra digits here. That would be the 10,000s digit. Then we have the 100,000th digit. And then that's the millions digit. And when we're writing this number, what we often do is going from right to left, after each three digits, we put a comma. So one, two, three, comma, one, two, three, comma. And that's how you would write your number. Now let's use this to answer these questions here. In 347, which we would say is 347, what is the four worth? So if we write that out, 347, what is this four worth here? Well, we know that's the units digit from up here. The rightmost digit is the units digit. Then this is the tens digit. So we could say this is worth four tens, and that would be a perfectly acceptable answer. Or what we could also say is, well, if it's worth four tens, that's 40, isn't it? So we could also write our answer as 40. What about the next one? 452, which you could say is 452. What is the 2 worth? Well, we know that the rightmost digit is the units digit. So we could either describe this in our answer as 2 units. Or to be honest, we don't have to say the word units. We could just write 2 and that would be the answer. And then finally, we got 39452. And they're asking, what is the nine worth? So this digit here. Well, if we go along, that's the units digit. That's the tens digit. Then it's the hundreds digit. And now it's the thousands digit. So this nine here is the thousands digit. And we could therefore write it as nine thousand or thousands. Or just like we did over here, a thousand has three zeros on the end, so we could write it as nine thousand. Basically, we'd write the same as we have here, but we can just replace each of the digits after it with a zero.